Wait, Miley Cyrus's mom stole her husband from her daughter, Noah Cyrus? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And look, I know this is stupid, but I miss some good just pop culture gossip. I'm so sick of talking about Harry. The loser, Prince Harry. I needed a break today. Uh, so much serious stuff happening in the world. I just want to look in awe of this weird train wreck that is what? The Cyrus family feud? Is this real? I decided to look into it, folks. I was fascinated. Look, I've come to really respect and admire Miley. I got to be honest. Her Grammy speech was great, but she shaded her dad, Billy Ray, who I've been a fan of, achy, breaky heart days. Uh, Miley and her father, Billy Ray, have had some tiffs, obviously, and we'll get a little bit into why that is. But uh, there's been clear shade in this family. You know that her, her mom uh, has moved on. Her mom, Tish, has moved on with prison breaks, Dominic uh, Purcell. Uh, but apparently now these rumors are coming in from uh, some, you know, publications, Us Weekly and others. That, yeah, exclusive source saying it was Tish, the mother, Miley's mom, who stole her husband from her daughter, Noah, who is even younger than Miley. Uh, a new, now, I'm going to give you the full story, but here's what they're alleging here. New twist in the Cyrus family drama. Re the fans re recently zeroed in on a possible rift between Miley and Billy Ray when she got ne neglected him in the speech. Sources tell us there's lingering bad blood between Tish and her youngest daughter, Noah, and it all boils down to a fight over Tish's new husband, Dominic Purcell. On the February 17th episode of Call Her Daddy, Tish shared her fairy tale origin story, how she had a longtime crush on the Prison Break actor. I missed that show. Prison Break was pretty legit, I got to say. Uh, anyway, they met. That was she was sort of the hall pass. Uh, Dominic was his, was Tish's hall pass throughout the 28 year marriage. And apparently Dominic at one point had reached out through DMS and she had missed it. So now after the divorce, she caught it, decided to message him in 2022. And shortly after the divorce from Billy Ray, which was like their third attempt at breaking up, mind you, they finally divorced. And then, yeah, they apparently kicked it, hit it off. Couples love story happened, but they're saying it happened because Noah was seeing Dominic when Tish started pursuing him, says the source who claims that Tish was aware of the situation. Tish Noah Purcell did not respond to comment. Tish and Purcell fell head over heels in love. Describing their first date, Tish said on Call Her Daddy, we uh, go to lunch and make out for three hours. Uh, they, she added that they said, I love you a day later. So they immediately jumped in. Uh, at least one family member, however, apparently was not supportive of the relationship when Tish and Purcell wed at Miley's Malibu mansion. Noah was not in attendance. Instead, she pointedly posted photos on Instagram of herself with her brother Brazen, who had flown to California to see her at a local Walmart. Fans speculated that Noah skipped the wedding because she had taken her father's side in the divorce. She was wearing a Billy Ray Cyrus shirt in her Walmart outing. But according to a source, she hadn't been invited to the event Miley even hired armed guards outside, apparently, to keep Noah out, who lives in a condo just blocks from her sister, uh, in case she tried to attend. Now that this is all the drama going in with the with the family, but apparently it's unclear how Miley and Noah get along. It does seem, from the limited research, Noah and the brother seem to have sided with Billy Ray, while Miley's siding with Tish, the mom. Uh, but yeah, the turmoil between Noah and her mom, Tish, goes far beyond what people think. Noah is very distraught over Tish stealing Dominic from her. So here's Dominic with Tish. Now, this is obviously now taken off over the past day. I've seen more and more reports of this coming in. However, now coming in exclusively to the Daily Mail, uh, they're saying this is false. Miley Cyrus's sister Noah never dated mom Tish's husband, Dominic Purcell. Family insiders are accusing her of fabricating the romance to paint herself as the victim in the Cyrus family feud. So this is the now the other version of it. Is Tish creating this drama, calling out uh, Dominic to try to make some drama to get her mom upset because of all the family feud? That is now the debate. Now, uh, they are coming out saying sources, clearly Miley, or sorry, Tish's camp is coming forward saying that's just false. Uh, they weren't. They, she is trying to paint herself at the victim. The family insiders are, are saying that she's fabric fabricating this relationship with the prison break actor to paint herself as victim in her ongoing feud with her mom. Uh, the source close to the family says Noah and Dominic were never involved in any kind of romantic relationship, claiming that would be delusional of the singer 
Noah to think otherwise. Noah never dated Dominic and they were not together. She is delusional to think otherwise and is trying to create a narrative that will paint her as a victim. The insider said, did they DM or something? Was there more to it? I mean, maybe he did pursue and then decided to pick the mom. I mean, it's <laughs> weirder things have happened in Hollywood. Uh, but you'd think then if Noah really wanted to take a shot, she would then release something to show more of like, oh yeah? Oh yeah, mom? Will this will will this continue to, you know, get bigger and bigger? That's now the question. Uh, and as for Miley, I'm curious what you guys think in the comments. Before you comment, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for alerts, smash the like button. And I thank you for watching even this story, which, yeah, is a little silly. But look, I like pop culture. I do. Uh, I'm not going to get people think I'm just TMZ doing this stuff to get views. I was genuinely curious about this, and I suspect this view will not. This video will not get a lot of views. Uh, but I'm just trying to do other fun pop culture stuff I'm into, and I wanted to take a moment also just to explain the breakdown between Miley and Billy Ray. Because honestly, just like Dolly Parton, I'm rooting for them. I think I hope they do figure this out. Divorce is tough, and uh, they're now all adults, so that's why I think this is more fair game to speak about. Uh, but Dolly Parton allegedly is now trying to broker a deal to sort of get them to be back on speaking terms, saying Miley's going to regret it and Billy needs to apologize whether he thinks it's right or wrong. And I think Dolly's right on the money, whether that's going to actually happen, whether Miley or Billy Ray can actually come to those terms, that's going to be up to them. But as for why they broke down, it does seem like it was because of the divorce. I mean, there were multiple times Billy was there throughout the whole Disney era uh, and, uh, yeah, the question of the drama, I mean, they've been supportive throughout, but, um, there's been a lot of sort of him leaving. And the biggest thing I can see here when during these multiple divorce announcements that happened, uh, throughout her childhood during the second one, Miley actually t tweeted at him since your texts and emails obviously aren't working, Billy Ray Cyrus, would you like to talk like this? Sort of putting it out there. Like what the hell dad, are we doing this publicly or why do you keep ignoring us? So clearly there's some contempt there. And this was from 2013. So there has been contempt between Miley and her father for a while. Again, not really any of our business, but the fact, yes, there clearly is. So that shade at the Grammys isn't a surprise given that this has been a long uh, standing feud. Now they did get back together. The final divorce announcement was later. Here's Miley with her family, but it does seem like Miley's always stood by Tish. And when Billy Ray and Tish were together, they, you know, were a supportive family. Uh, and so the final divorce announcement, though, was in April 2022, and uh, Tish filed for divorce, claiming she hasn't lived with her husband, ex-husband, since 2020, uh, February of 2020. Uh, it's 30 years, five amazing children, a lifetime of memories. We have decided to go our separate ways, not with sadness, but with love in our hearts. We have grown up together, raised a family so we can be proud, and it's now time to create our own paths. We will always be family and look forward to continue love and sharing experiences. That's how it ended. But then Billy Ray uh, shacked up with Fire Rose. Now, Fire Rose is about half his age. I, I wanted to look that up because Billy Ray is 62. Fire, Ray's about, Fire Rose is about 34. Those wondering, Miley is now 31. She's no longer the kid from the Disney Channel. Only a few years difference between Miley and Fire Rose, which obviously has raised some eyebrows for some. Uh, and uh, that is another reason that many speculate is cause of this problem. Apparently, he met her this girl fire Rose on the set of Hannah Montana more than a decade ago when she would have been a kid. Uh, he got down on one knee though, all these years later, 2022, taking the relationship to the next level, suggesting their whirlwind romance had been a lot for his loved ones. Uh, and it put a strain on his relationship with Miley. So yeah, he shacked up with this young now woman who he knew as a kid from Hannah Montana. I can imagine that's not helping Miley's view of him given her clear stance to support her mom. And uh, yeah, that seems to be what it is. There's, I'm sure, way more to it. Uh, but good on uh, Tish for getting out there now, securing her hall pass and her crush. She looks great. Uh, good for them. Go go live your life. Now, did he try to <laughs> hook up with her daughter first? What do you think? I'm curious what you think. is, Or, or is this a way for Noah to fight back? Uh, and create more drama in the press. Uh, that is the debate here today that we are 
having some thought on. What do you guys think? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. We're going to be live actually talking about some serious stuff, so I hope you'll join me. I was going to do that one first, but my guests couldn't do it now. So you're not going to miss this story about what the hails. What the hails? DUI guy is going to be joining me. We have a lot. In fact, I'll put the live here at the end, right here on the left. Join us live. Hope to see you guys there. It's going to be a very important show. Thanks so much for watching.